Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. So in today's video, we are going to be doing kitchen organization. I'm going to be organizing every cabinet and drawer in my kitchen. And here I'm just giving you a little overview of the kitchen, just so that you can see how many cabinets and drawers there are. You can see the size of the kitchen. This kitchen has got plenty of storage for us. There even is a few empty cabinets at this point in here. And we also have a big walk-in pantry that's not even filled all the way up. We are going to be getting all of this better organized today. I did buy a few new organization products for this video and I'll also be showing you some of the organization products that I already had on hand. So I bought these two plastic organizers from Target. These are really heavy duty, great quality organizers. And then I ordered this pot lid organizer off of Amazon. I'll have a link for all the organization products that I can down below in the description box. And when you're going to be doing organization in your house, it's always nice to go out and buy a few new organization products. Even if it's only two or three new products, it's going to give you motivation to use your new products and organize your space. I had all of these drawer liners in all of the drawers and all of the cabinets and after having them for a couple of months, I just don't like them anymore. As you can see, they slide around everywhere. So I'm going to be removing them from most of the drawers and cabinets today. So let me know down in the comments your recommendations for a different drawer or cabinet liner. I added these liners to my kitchen in my last kitchen organization video, which I filmed a couple of months ago when we moved into this house and I was unpacking my kitchen and putting stuff away. But now that we we have lived in this house for a couple of months I want to switch around a couple of the drawers and cabinets and mainly just get stuff better organized in these drawers and cabinets. I feel like it takes living in a space for a couple of months for you to truly realize where you need stuff and where stuff would be the most convenient to have it at. This drawer right here, as you can see, I'm using my new containers from Target. These work so much better than the smaller containers that I was trying to use from the Dollar Tree. These smaller containers work great, but they just weren't working for this drawer. Love how this drawer turned out. I've got all of the things in here, makes it very convenient when I'm working in the kitchen. And these organization containers from Target fit the drawer like a glove. They're just perfect for this drawer. The link for those containers will be down below. I would highly recommend for your kitchen drawers. The next drawer I'm working on is our junk drawer. Everybody has a junk drawer in their kitchen. It's where you keep anything from pens to paper, batteries, whatever. And this drawer got a little bit crazy. So I was going to get this reorganized. And I had this drawer organized with these little blue containers from the Dollar Tree, but I was going to swap them out with the white ones. I did have one or two crack on the edge for me like I showed you there so just be wary of that but these are amazing containers from the Dollar Tree. Here's a peek at a couple of other containers that I have from the Dollar Tree that you could use in your kitchen. The little blue ones and white ones they come in like a pack of four for a dollar and then the other bigger ones are a dollar a piece. So if you're trying to organize your kitchen on a budget, go to the Dollar Tree. They will have all of the organizational items that you will need.
Okay, so now both of these drawers are organized. They look amazing. Hopefully they will stay this way. And for the next day or two after I'd organized this kitchen, I kept opening up some of the drawers and cabinets and just enjoying how organized everything was. And this cabinet under here is where I keep all of my glass baking dishes and lids and pie plates and loaf pans. I'm not going to touch this cabinet because it's been working awesome the last couple of months. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I've been able to keep this organized. The cabinet beside of there is where I have all of my pots and pans and lids. And this has been a great place to keep all of that, but I want to get the lids a little better organized in here. Stacking them on top of each other hasn't been working very well. So like I said, I ordered this lid organizer off of Amazon. I'll put a link for it down below. It's great quality. And all of my lids fit perfectly in here, except for one that I had to sit on top of there. And on that top shelf, I just have all of my muffin pans and a few other little baking pans. I'm leaving this cabinet down here the same as well. This has worked really great to have my mixer down here, my Nutribullet, and then I have this little container from the Dollar Tree up on the top shelf that has all of my attachments for the mixer because right here underneath the spice cabinet is where I usually do most of my mixing with the mixer and with the Nutribullet, so it works perfect right there. This cabinet up here is obviously my spices and baking cabinet. I will have that spice rack linked down below. It's awesome off of Amazon and then also the little turntable. I will have that linked down there as well. This next cabinet is still completely empty and then the next cabinet beside of that is our medicine cabinet. I emptied all the medicine and vitamins out of there, got it better organized, checked expiration dates, and then I organized everything back in here with those white containers from the Dollar Tree. They fit medicine bottles and vitamins perfectly. Now we've got every cabinet and drawer on this side of the kitchen organized and now we're going to work on getting the other side of the kitchen organized but first I wanted to empty the dishwasher. working on getting a couple of these drawers better organized and I swap them around a little bit and as you're seeing when I'm organizing a drawer in a cabinet the first thing I do is take everything out and then I will wipe out the drawer or the cabinet and then I organize everything back in. As you're organizing everything back into a drawer kind of go through it as well and see if there's anything that you could get rid of. We've moved twice in the last year and so I've gotten rid of so much stuff. That's another reason why I don't have a ton of stuff in this kitchen just because I got rid of so much. I should have put everything in one pile that I got rid of and took a picture because it was a lot. This big cabinet down here, I wanted this to be my appliance cabinet where I kept all of my little appliances for the kitchen, like the toaster, the rice maker, all of my crock pots, everything like that, just have it all in one spot. And as I'm organizing the kitchen today, I'm kind of taking things out of the pantry as well and putting them into the kitchen. When I had unpacked my kitchen, I stacked a lot of stuff in the pantry that wasn't food. And my goal is for my pantry to just be food storage and then have everything else out here in the kitchen. So here
here I'm giving you a look at how all of these drawers and the cabinet turned out, how I got them all organized. It works best for me to have all of the lids for my different containers that I put leftovers and pack my husband's lunch in. Works better for me to just have them all laid out in a drawer, it's easier to find them. These two big drawers are so awesome to have. I have all of my plastic containers and glass containers, mixing bowls, all of that kind of stuff I have stacked in here. And this cabinet over here in the corner, I just keep a variety of things that I don't use very often. And the little skinny cabinet beside of the fridge is perfect for all of my baking sheets and the cooling rack. And I had said a couple of videos ago that we were getting a new fridge delivered like the next week, but that was a couple of weeks ago. There was some delays with the shipping, but it is getting delivered tomorrow. So stay tuned in next week's cleaning video is when I will probably show the new fridge. So stay tuned for that. I switched around what I had in these cabinets on either side of the sink. I moved all of our everyday plates and bowls over to this cabinet and there still is an empty shelf on top. And these right here are my favorite everyday white plates. They don't chip or scratch. They're awesome. I want to get a few more of those. And then I moved all of the cups to this cabinet right here that's above the dishwasher. When you're emptying the dishwasher, it's easier to put cups in this cabinet than plates. So this works out a lot better and I have our nicer plates up on those top two shelves, but they're still not very full like I said we have a lot of empty cabinets and shelves still in the kitchen and then in this corner cabinet is all of my really nice glassware and dishes that I don't use very often and this cabinet above the coffee maker I switched this around a little bit I've just got my coffee stuff on the bottom and then some of my protein powder different things like that I also needed to clean out under the sink because we had a little bit of a leak that was an easy fix but it kind of made everything messy down here under the sink so it all needed to be washed like to put one of the white containers from the Dollar Tree under here just to organize all of the dish soap and the dishwasher soap, different things like that in. Also do keep my roll of paper towels under there. Now the whole kitchen is organized and after living here for a couple of months, I know that this way is going to work best. So it should stay like this for a long time, hopefully. And even after emptying out this pantry and filling up the kitchen cabinets more, we still have two empty cabinets in the kitchen plus a few empty shelves and the pantry is pretty much empty now besides food. So the next organization video that I film for this kitchen will be the pantry organization. I want to fill this pantry with organizational containers and food and just have it be a really amazing and perfectly organized pantry that I've always dreamed of. And I want to have a good bit of food storage in this pantry. I feel like with everything that's happened so far this year, everybody feels the same way that you just want to have a better long-term food storage in your house. So that is my goal for this pantry. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this kitchen organization video. I hope that it gave you a lot of motivation to go in and organize your kitchen, go out and get yourself a couple of new organization containers to motivate you to get in there and organize your space. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribed. This house that we are living in is a fixer upper that we've been renovating for the past couple of months and we're still renovating it. So subscribe if you wanna to continue to follow along on that journey and go back and watch all of the previous videos. And I will see you in a couple days with a brand new video right here on my channel. Bye.